Good morning, Ra good morning, Randy. Uh, I did a, a long video yesterday and it wouldn't upload, so I'm doing a series of short videos this morning. So first thing is the strut. So as you recall, we sent the strut off. As you recall, it looked like the strut had been cut, still looks that way, like it had been cut, and the angle changed, the angle changed, and it brazed back together. Uh, and then there was quite a bit of brazed material on the surface. It kind of looked like a flattened dirt dauber's nest. Um, so we sent it off to get a request for a quote on casting a new one. And we ultimately decided not to cast a new one. And uh, as you recall, so uh, uh, we get it back and we find out that the company was maybe anticipating a yes answer. I don't know, but they ground off all the extra uh, metal that had been applied to this to make that joint uh, and to make the joint strong. So no longer can we guarantee that uh, it's going to handle even the same amount of horsepower it handled before, let alone handle the extra house horsepower. You're going from 215 to 253. So, um, so we started to put it on. I started to put it on. Matter of fact, I did put it on. And I said, well, this is horseshit. Uh, the company that took all the metal off of there has ruined our guarantee that it, our, our thought process that it's gonna, gonna last. So uh, we contacted them. They're gonna recast another one um, at no cost to you. I might share the cost with my supplier because um, I don't want him when I call to, to not you know, to not pay attention to me. So, um, but I think my supplier, who is also caught in the middle, he's between the caster and and me, and of course I'm between my supplier and you. So anyway, but at no cost to you, you're getting a new strut that will handle the horsepower. Okay. Um, we also ordered yesterday, I, or you asked me to kind of list what else needs to be purchased. The only other thing that we've purchased, I did it yesterday, was a new Acme prop. I think it's 470 bucks. It's a three blade Acme prop because your other prop will over rev this engine, which will ruin the warranty. Uh, you have to have, uh, you know, uh, this thing should top out between four at 4750. That's the maximum horsepower. 4,750 RPM is where this engine tops at wide open throttle. That's where it should top. So if we don't put enough prop on there it's going to top at a higher rpm void your warranty if it's gonna if we put too large a prop on there <clears throat> which is not the case your prop would have been too small if we put too small a uh, larger prop on there of course we won't get the rpm up to, to develop the maximum horsepower uh so uh, anyway that's the story on the strut story on the uh prop also let's see in three minutes okay also while while uh Lifting ring. Uh, lifting ring is kind of an interesting uh, deal. We found that the people that had done the restoration on, uh, and, and they did beautiful paintwork, but uh, had put your, put your lifting ring mechanism back in with a lag screw, two lag screws, maybe an inch long, probably going into the wood a half inch, and they put that in from the top had we grabbed a hold of your lifting ring and tried to lift your boat, we would have stripped that completely out uh, and and dropped your boat. So uh, the uh, uh, what we've discovered there was one hole through the bottom of the boat underneath the uh, bracket. And uh, let's see if I can I'll turn this thing around here, maybe. Or maybe I won't. Anyway, so. Underneath here, I hope I'm capturing a picture, uh, is, yeah, two bolts behind the rudder. Those are the two bolts that should have held, that should have been there to hold the, uh, uh, to hold the lifting ring, the lifting uh, eye assembly at the base, to hold the base in place. Let's see if I can get a picture of the base here real quick. I know you know what we're looking at. So here's the base coming right down here, and the base is also its integral part of holding the rudder. So uh, what we have now is, is two stainless steel, um, two stainless steel carriage bolts, and we're through bolted from the bottom. So that's all done correctly now. Uh, and then we verified when we found that boo boo, we verified that your front lifting ring also had is held in with two carriage bolts. 
All right, first video.